moving on. Sadly, Soma's backdash is a bit lacking compared to the speed and distance of Alucard's from Symphony of the Night. There you could practically use that as a means of travel. <laughs> Just watch Shaq's blind LP of it and you'll see what I mean. Have to be a little bit careful around the axe armors. The axes hurt a good bit, though you can actually knock them out of the air if you have good timing. Like so. So, time for our first boss. Though really, it's more of a glorified mid-boss. I'm gonna switch back to the Winged Skeleton for this fight, because... It's a good way of maximizing your MP usage. It counts for multiple hits, especially if you can land it so that the creaking skull here is still stuck on it when it's stuck in the ground. And didn't drop its soul, but like I said, it's a glorified mid-boss more than anything else. We'll find more Creaking Skulls later on. Picking that up is a quick MP and HP rest restoration, so that's rather nice. And we get Castle Map 1, letting us see a bit more of what's going on here. We have a save room in here, nice to know. Don't really need to use it right now, though. Going to go ahead and switch back to the... Hmm, Merman or Bat? I think Bat. And as always in a Castlevania game, there are hidden passages here and there. And we get a Mind Up. This is a one-time use item that just restores a little bit of your magic power. Though with a name like Mind Up, it sounds like it should be a permanent stat alteration thing. And for our troubles, we get the flying armor. Falling speed slows down and jump distance increases. This is a blue soul. These ones give you special abilities, but you have to hold down R to use them. And as long as they're in effect, they do drain your magic. Archers in video games, always annoying. With the flying armor, we can make that jump and we can move on. And there we got a potion. Like the mind up, that's just a restoration for a quick bit of health back. These guys can be a bit irritating to hit, but not too bad. What way do I want to go here? Up looks like it dead ends faster, so let's do that. And we can also snag a potion. Skeleton Knights have rather problematic hitboxes. You kind of want a long-range soul to deal with these guys. So, let's switch to... the Winged Skeleton for now. Thank you. 
Oh, I'm out of magic power. Go away, you pest. Yeah, switching back to Merman, I think. Can't quite do anything to get up there yet. Can at least get that potion. Sadly, can't quite seem to make that jump. Either you just have to be pixel perfect, or there's something I don't have yet that I need. Yeah, I can't speed up that way or anything. Yeah, Skeleton Knights hurt a lot. And we get a nifty little Doctor Who scarf. Yeah, equipping that, it raises our defense but lowers our luck, and... We need luck to get souls, so we're going to stick with a pendant for now. Okay, that's how you're supposed to fight those guys. Get in a quick shot when they're about to attack, and then back up. Okay, nice to know. I can handle that. Yeah, the fact that enemies have no knockback on them, that can be problematic sometimes. They'll just happily step right into you. And especially on hard mode, that does a lot of damage and quickly. Getting the timing down right is still a bit tricky with these guys. Ow. Yeah, I still prefer just taking them out from a distance when I can. Oh, hi there. Leather plate. Yep, that's a good deal better than what we have. And we leveled up off of a ghost. Zombie soldier. <laughs> Throws hand grenades? Heck yeah! Sounds good to me. Okay, yeah, it's not good against flying enemies. Has a good range and power on it, though. I like it. Okay, can't get up there. And can't get up there. We're being herded in one direction right now, it seems. Yeah, not gonna waste any time dealing with the zombies again. Well, maybe a little. Just to get a bit of experience, if nothing else.
Yeah, that's what you get for being such a pain. I'm enjoying these grenades. I'm not enjoying tiny devils. Sadly, no way to go in there and get that sword. We'll have to wait a bit for that. But for now, with the save point and recharge, I think it's time for another refreshing pause, don't you? Onward, ever backward! So, continuing our explorations... Let's see what we have in here. Another zombie soldier and a potion. Good enough. More mermen. Can definitely tell I'm getting stronger. I can take out the killer fish now with one hit. And we get cash monies. 500 bucks. At some point, a shop does open somewhere. I want to say it's all the way back at the beginning, actually. I forget when exactly it opens, though. Or I could be thinking of the wrong game entirely. But I know there is a shop at some point. Stop jumping right in my face, you annoying fish. Apparently not. 